finger was right on the blade when I started that. The door's fitting real good. Guess we need to get this back window out and scrape some of this dynamat off. And uh, get to cutting. Chop, chop. So everybody knows, Matt has been working very hard for the last, I don't know, at least an hour, at hour and a half. five minutes. That was fine. An hour? It's, yeah, it has oh, to have been an hour. Long, long. It's been longer than an hour since we started. I said at least an hour, hour and a half. It's only 10.27. You've only been in there 20 minutes since I got here. Yeah, since you got here. <laughs> got the back That's window out. Working, trying to verify. Got most of the dynamat stuff off. I mean, you save Glue stuff. is... What, the dynamite? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just <laughs> put it anywhere I could find a spot. <sighs> oh, I'm done working. <laughs> I've got it all off here. Finished up your job. Well, you didn't trust me to complete it. Maybe what? I should Maybe get what? some video footage of how you were using these tools. That's fine. <laughs> I only slipped a couple times and I did not hit my face. There's, that's weird that there's like a patchy panel. An Apache? Apache, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that they multiply. <laughs> Chuck it, buddy. A good roll cage is important in any build. Are you ready for this? Oh, oh yeah, cut God. away, sir. <laughs> Just make sure you keep her level. All right, I got it. I got to get this. Oh, right there, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're good. Oh man, you gonna eyeball the Well, I'll just oh. operate this. Right, you operate you're... the tilt, I'll work the trigger. <laughs> Hold on, you sure you can do it one handed? <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm all over it. <laughs> I bet. Now that now that you, you, you got it yeah, now that you started the cut, you can go ahead and right, take off this. Right. No, we'll put it up here just so you people see that the car is level. <laughs> Here we purposely did a cutaway of the screws that is holding the B-pillar wood in. <laughs> and that's why you can't get the wood out without taking the outer skin off. Then you can take these screws out. So, yeah, that's custom.
You know what would be different? Just leaving it like this. How do you weld back the window felt? this time before you tag it. Jeez. It's practically lining itself up right now. 
Oh man, don't break off the welds on the other side. Nice work. And there's one that goes through here. There what? So there's one that goes on these. One the what? This other side bracket here, or this one that has a ear? I don't know what goes there. I just know there's wood that goes around the window, and then it goes to that bracket right there. Mm -hmm. I also know that these are supposed to be bolted up. <laughs> but I don't think I can... It's like the wood's not the right size, or those brackets are bent too far, or the side piece is in the wrong spot, so it's pushing it up. I mean, who really knows? I know the battery's dying. That's all I know. But watch out for the deck lid. Guess that's all you get on this episode. Hopefully the next time. It'll uh look the same probably. So we chose to do the straight, I chose to do the straight across instead of taking a chunk out here, dropping it down, coming across, bringing it back up. If you know what I'm talking about, just because I figured this was faster, more simple. And actually it didn't work out too bad. We have a couple relief cuts, but not too bad. We weren't paying attention when we well this door is just tacked, but you can see it's angled. We need to cut it back, straighten this back out. Um, I've been working a little bit on those brackets on the wood. I got the bolts through this side, and with a nut on the other side. And they didn't even have. I don't know if you can see that, but. The bolts weren't coming through the holes. This side is. Ugh. And they were just, I don't know, just pretty much just like the rest of the car, just a big mess. But it's getting there. Like, I'm not looking for a show car. I just want something that is decent and that, you know, can have some fun with, which this will be. I'm not going to make it perfect ever. Um, I would like to paint it, but I'm not going to go crazy. I'll just, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I posted a picture on a Facebook page and, uh, on chop, what, chop or no chop, and I had a picture of it and then a picture of that another guy photoshopped for me. And it's just funny. I already knew I was going to chop it anyway. And most of the people, I think I got like 260 comments or something like that, and most people say it's like 70% chop, 30% don't chop. But it's funny, the opinions and the reasoning people say, don't chop it, be different. 
Well, that's not really being different. There's a ton of these out there that aren't chopped. And if the point is to be different, I mean, why do something just to be different? I mean, if I wanted to be different, I would have cut the top off and left it off and just left the posts. I mean, that's different. Doesn't mean it's good. Doesn't mean it looks good. I mean, I don't mind some cars that aren't chopped, but I don't like them when they're channeled so much and then not chopped, because then the top looks taller than this section of the body, and it just looks goofy. If they're on top of the frame still, I don't think they look bad at all. But like I said, it's just my opinion. Everybody has one. It's just... The <coughs> the, and then don't chop it if it's real steel. Well, what else would it be? I mean, <laughs> I don't know a whole lot of Model A fiberglass bodies. I think there's some out there, but... <clears throat> or reproduction Model A's. It's not like it's a 32. But this car has already been hacked to crap. Um, the floor has been cut out of it with what looks like you know, a torch, and then they half-assed made another floor that uh, to channel it. But the original floor is still on the edges a little bit, and it's all jagged and that. I mean, this thing is not nice. It's just, oh no, don't cut up that pristine original example of a Model A. It's like, no. It's a pile. I'm just trying to make it something cool. then it is cool I think it's gonna be sweet it looks exactly how it should in my opinion this is how they should have been made in the first place you know I think that Henry Ford made them so tall on the roof so you could wear your hat because they didn't have heaters <clears throat> see they, he wanted them to be big enough to get in with your hat and your coat and I think they had really tall hats back in the day but uh, anyway <laughs> much better now I'm pretty excited I just can't put that seat back in because a little too tall now so I got a few ideas for a seat and uh, I can't really fit in it right now with these stupid bars in the way but I tried and uh, plenty of room I mean I could be much taller and still have room a lot of people are freaking out because <clears throat> you know, what are you, a midget? Yeah, if you're a midget, go ahead and chop it. It's like, no, but I'm not tall either. I'm 5'9". Plenty of room. All right, good talk. Back to work. Right. We figure that's good enough, it won't blow off, so good to go. Just can't believe you ruined this thing. You know this is real steel. What? <laughs> that's what I hear, I don't know. <laughs>